Okay, we got another Japanese black pine. This is probably a little bit less than 20. Uh, it's not as big as some of the others, but uh, it's been around a while. And I think this one's going to require a little bit of pruning, but not that much compared to some of my other neglected plants. Oh, so I'll let you take a look at what we have to start with. So I believe this is the side. I think coming around is the back side. And coming around the corner. Well, this is the other side. I got the feeling the back side had the sun. Uh, so I'm going to have to turn this when I put it back on the bench so the front will face the sun more. You notice that uh, the back side was a little bit uh, more lush green. I think that's what that is. So, anyway. Here comes our front. Like I said, I will do a light pruning and put it back on the bench and feed it. Yeah, this one doesn't require a lot of pruning. Um, just these light pruning, make sure they're still going to get into the right shape in the future. So. It's best if you catch it this stage, then you just kind of develop it along versus <laughs> some of my more dramatic ones, uh, that's where neglected. So just do these light prunes and See what I'm doing? See this growth over here? There's a little bit of cluster down below. That's what I'm trying to do, is to get it down that far and then do the same thing on these. And then they'll really start to uh, tighten up. Now, these are harder to see. Uh, my most neglected ones are much easier to see because they go straight up. But basically the same principle, except that it's much finer now. And that's what we want towards the uh, finish or more mature bonsai, is not to have those vigorous uh, candles. But I think in terms of doing videos for YouTube, it's more dramatic. Okay, that was a very quick uh, pruning job. Uh, if you really want to get good, uh, you have to do a bunch of them. So, uh, this is the third of the three-part series, <laughs> I guess. Well, what happens is, well, I was told uh, uh, by uh, more than one teacher, if you really want to get good, you got to do a thousand. Well, even... For me, uh, I've been doing this for a long time now. I like to get started with these uh, kind of the practice session before I get to my uh, very important one, like my Uncle Taka's pine and some of the ones that I consider uh, nice material or finish uh, bonsai. So anyway, um, I'll conclude this uh, three parts. Uh, of the Japanese black pine is roughly in that 20, 15 to 20, 22 years old bracket. Uh, this one here in particular, uh, somebody that really likes to finish things with wire, I think this one could lend itself to that. Those branches, if they could be pulled down so it's almost all horizontal and then let it get uh, 
uh, regrown again, I bet you this will look spectacular. Uh, am I going to do it? No, I'm going to stay with uh, wireless for now, but uh, I think somebody that really are good at wiring and uh, take this one home, I think that will really work. I, I could just see. Okay, anyway, this is Hero saying goodbye and keep practicing. You know, this one, I was saying that uh, if you like to wire and good at it, if you take all these and flatten them out, right? They're still flexible enough and they'll, you flatten them out. And what happens with black pines is no matter what you do, the new candles stand straight up. So I'm at the stage where I think the wire would be so much better. But I'm not going to do it because if I do it, it'll be fun, but I'll forget and then you'll get damaged. But those of you that really love to wire and are good at it, uh, you might consider this tree.